Okay, assalamu alaikum, my dear brothers and sisters. Uh, welcome back. Uh, this is your brother Abdi Muhammadun. Remember, today we have what you normally call rationalizing the denominator, which is the second part of mathematics of form 3 uh, by the name Sars. Uh, this part of mathematics will come uh, when it's carrying three marks for your information. Then you must know from today uh, what third questions are and how you're going to tackle them, okay? Now, let's go and see how we actually rationalize uh, the denominator, okay? How we rationalize uh, the denominator for your information, okay? Let's see the first example. We have uh, example one. Our example one is saying rationalize the denominator. Rationalize the denominator, okay? Denominator. And we are told uh, we have uh, the first question we are having is 1 out of root 5. Okay, if you want to solve this kind of question, if you want to rationalize this kind of question, this is the procedure, okay? We are going to say 1 out of root 5, which is the one given. Now, for you to rationalize, you are going to multiply the denominator, okay? The denominator you are having, okay? Uh, by the num given and the den as well, okay? So, this side you are going to say times root 5. Then, down here also you are going to say times what? Root 5. So, what are we doing? We are multiplying the denominator on both sides. That's the num and the den, okay? The numerator and the denominator side. So, it's going to be 1 times root 5 is what? Root 5. Just understand that. Divided by root 5 times root 5 is root 25, okay? So obviously this will give us a root of uh, 5 divided by, what is the square root of 25? 5, okay? That's how you're going to solve. What are we saying? We have 1 all over root 5. Then for you to rationalize this kind of question, you're going to multiply uh, the num and the den by the denominator given, okay? So you're going to say 1 out of root 5, then here you multiply by root 5, you also root 5. So 1 times root 5 is root 5. Root 5 times root 5 is what? Root 25. And we know that 25 have uh, got what? Uh, this 25 we are talking, as, uh, we are talking about is, uh, has got what? Has got a square root. So you're going to say root 5 out of 5. And that is the final answer for your information. Uh, without wasting time, let's proceed to this one. We have 1 all over root out of 7. Okay? Root 7. 1 all over root 7. So we are going to say 1 out of root 7. Then we multiply here, root 7. Okay, here also what? Root 7. Just understand that. What are we doing? We are multiplying the denominator by the num and the den, okay? So this will give us 1 times root 7 is what? Is root 7 divided by root 7 times root 7 is what? Root of uh, 49. And we know 49 has got a square root, okay? So we are going to say root of 7 divided by 7 okay and that is the final answer for your information guys now let's see a situation where we have uh, this one we have uh, let's say uh, let's say this one see we have uh, 8 out of uh, root of 5 okay root of 5 we have uh, we have this one for your information guys we have 8 divided by root uh, 5, okay, root of 5 plus root of 2. So in such situation or a scenario where we have two numbers uh, in the denominator side, this is what we're going to do then. You're going to say when you come to the solution part, you're going to say this will be our solution, yeah? 8 out of root of 5 plus root of 2, okay? You multiply uh, this side, okay? This side you're going to say, time is, look here, time is, root 5 minus root 2, close the bracket. Then down here also you're going to say, by extending this line, you're going to say into root 5 minus root of 2. Do you know what we're doing? Uh, okay. Do you know what we're doing here? We are multiplying, remember, uh, the opposite of this denominator on both sides. When I'm saying opposite, I mean uh, there will be difference in size. So you're going to say, root of 5 minus root of 2 in the bracket, okay? Just answer that. You see, you will only change this side and then multiply both sides, okay? Now you're going to say 8 times root 5 is what? 8 root of 5 minus 8 times root 2 is 8 root of uh, 2. 8 root 2, okay? 8 root 2. 
divided by just understand. Come to this point. Root 5 times root 5 is root uh, root of 25. Okay? Then root 5 minus, because you are multiplying positive by negative, it will be root 10. Just understand that. Root 5 times root 2 is what? Is root 10. Okay? And then you'll start with this one. You're going to say again, balas root 2 times root 5 is root 10. Okay? Then you're going to say minus because you're multiplying positive by negative. That is root of uh, 4. Now, when you're solving this kind of equation in the denominator side, you must have two quants that will cancel each other. Okay? Like this situation now, these two will cancel. Why? Right? Because it's minus root 10 plus root 10, so it will cancel. Then we are going to have what? We will have this one. Uh, 8 root of uh, 5, just understand that, 8 root of 5 minus 8 root of 2 divided by, come to this point, what is the square root of 25? It's 5 minus the square root of 4, 2. So this will give us 8 root of 5 minus 8 root of 2 divided by 3, just understand that. Okay, that's how uh, we are going to solve this kind of question. Just understand, we are multiplying the opposite of this one on both sides, yeah? And in the denominator side, you must have two points that are cancelling each other. Otherwise, you are following the wrong, uh, or you are beating the bush, okay? Okay, you are following the wrong procedure, or you are beating the bush for your information, guys. Uh, let's see one more example. Let us see one more example then, guys. Let's see that, okay? Let me add for you one more example for your information, guys. Let's see. One more example so you understand better this thing. Okay. Let's see this one for your information. Uh, we, have, uh, uh, we have this one which is, let's say this is T. We have root 2 plus root 3 divided by, okay, divided by root 6 minus uh, root of, uh, root of 3, okay, let's see this one, uh, when you come to the solution bar, we have root 2 plus root uh, 3, is it, divided by root of 6 minus root of 3. So what are we going to say here? We'll open a bracket and multiply by. Let's multiply this one. You can even leave this one. You can say root of 6 plus. Here we have minus, so this side is positive. Root of 3. Close the bracket. Then times. Also, you can have your times here. There's no problem with that. Uh, we'll have root of 6 plus a root of a 3. Root of what? Root of 3 for your equation. It is 3. Close the bracket. Now let's multiply. Root 2 times root 6 is what? Root 12. Okay? Again, root 2 times root 3 plus root of 6. You are done with this one. Start this one again. Root 3 times this one is what? Plus root of 18. Okay? Plus root 3 times root 3 is root of 9. Just understand that. Then we will start with the down part, the down part. Let's go to the denominator side. Root, two, root 6 times root 6 is root of that 6. Plus, again, root 6 times uh, root 3. That is root of 18. Okay? Then we will, we will start with this one. Minus, because you are multiplying negative by positive. Root 3 times root 6 is what? Root of 18. Let's understand that. Minus again because you are multiplying negative by positive. Minus root 3 times root 3 is what? Root of uh, 9 for your information, guys. That's how you are going to solve it. So now we say that when you are solving, here in the numerator side, we must have two coins that will cancel each other. So now these two, they are same but of, of what? Of opposite side. So they will cancel. Just understand that. Okay? Uh, for your information, this is root 36, yeah? Sorry. This is root of what? Root of that is 6. Because you are saying root 6 times root 6. Okay? Then coming to this point, let's come to this side. 
Let's come to this side. We are going to say we will have the root of 12, okay? Plus root of 6 plus root of 18. Look at that. Plus the root of 9 divided by, divided by what? What is the square root of the 6? Six? 6. 6 minus, what is the square root of 9? 3. So we will have, look here, we will have, look here, 12, when you go to this one, root 12, uh, this is the case. We will have 4 times 1, times 3, plus root of what? Root of 6 for your information, plus the root of 9 times 2, plus 3. Why am I saying that? Because here we have uh, 4 times 3 and 4 will have a square root. Yes, I understand. This is a composed number. Then you are going to get two numbers that one of them will have a square root. Just understand that, yeah? That one of them will have what? Will have a square root for your information, guys. And this one, you cannot get two numbers, okay? This compost number 6, you cannot get two numbers. But here, for 18, we have 9 times 2, and 9 has got a square root, okay? And the square root of 9 is what? Is actually, is, uh, is 3. So here, we're going to say over 3. Then we are going to have 2 root 3, because the square root of 4 is what? Is 2, you factor it out. Plus, uh, root of what? Root of 6. Plus, uh, root of 6. Plus, again here, 3 root of what? Root of 2, okay? Plus 3, okay? Divided by uh, 3, and this will be the final answer. You cannot add. You cannot use this coefficient and this coefficient, and they are not the same. So you can't add, yeah? Just understand that. And that will be the final answer uh, for your information, guys, okay? Make sure, guys, you solve this thing. This is very, very easy, by the way. It's what? It's very, very easy, by the way. Just understand that, okay? Now let's go and see one more example, okay? Let's go and see one more example for your information, guys. From our book here, let's see one more example, then we go to KCAC questions, okay? Let's see one more example. Let's what? Let's see one more example. Let's go and see one more example, guys, okay? So that is not very easy. It's a matter of what? What matters is for you to learn the, the, that this part of what? Rationalizing the denominator. And that will come in the examination, okay? Let's see one more example. We have uh, root of 7 minus, look here, root of 5 divided by, we have uh, uh, root of 7 plus root of what? Root of 5. So this is the question given. So when you come to the solution part, come to the solution part. What are we going to say? Root of 7 minus root of what? 5 divided by, write this one, root of 7 plus root of 5. You see now, root of what? Root of 5, okay? Plus root of 5. Let me have this thing. Plus uh, root of 5. Then uh, what are we going to do? We are going to multiply both sides. Look here, we are going to open the bracket. We will have root 7 minus root of 5. We will change the sign for this one, remember. Again, we will also multiply here root of 7 minus root of uh, 5. Okay? Then let's start our calculation. Root 7 times root 7. That is root uh, 49. Okay? Minus root 7 times root 5. Root of uh, 35. Then we are going to say, look here, minus again. Look at this one, yeah? We will have root 5, negative root 5 times minus root of uh, 35, okay? Minus root of 35 plus the root of 25. Why are we saying that? Root 7 times root 7 is root 45. Minus, because you are multiplying negative by positive. Root 7 times root 5 is what? Root of 35, okay? Then minus, because you are going to multiply root 5, negative root 5 times positive root 7, that's root of what? Negative root 35. Then lastly, we are multiplying a negative number by another negative number, so that will result what? A positive, yeah? So root 5 times root 5 is root of 25. Divided by, just understand, start here. Root 7 times root 7 is root of 49 again, okay? Minus root 7 times neg neg positive root 7 times negative root 5 is negative root 35. Just understand that. Then we will start this one. Because it's the two of them are positive, so we're going to say 
positive root 5k is positive root 7, that will give us positive root of, that is 5, then minus, because you are multiplying negative and positive, it will be root of what? Negative 2, okay? Then here, cancel these two, because one is negative and the other one is positive. Coming to this side, we will have, what is the square root of 49? 7, okay? We will have 7 minus, now look here, we will have negative root 35 minus root 35, that is negative 2 root of 35, okay? Now if you say let root that 5 be a, then it will be minus a minus a, which will give you what? Minus 2a for your information, guys. So that a is what root 35, so it will be negative uh, 2 root 35, okay? Plus, uh, plus what? Plus 5, because the square root of 25 is what? Is 5. Then coming to the denominator again now, let's come to the denominator side. What is the square root of 49? That's 7. So we write 7 minus, because the square root of uh, 25 is what? Is 5. So we'll have, look here, we will have, look here, we'll have, let me have this part. Correctly here, we are going to say, for your information, this is what you're going to do. We are going to say, 7 plus 5 minus 2 root of that 5 divided by 2. So we will have, look here. 14 minus 2 root of 35 divided by 2. So this one, uh, you can separate them, okay? You can separate them. You can go further and say 14 over 2, okay? Minus 2 root of 35 divided by 2, okay? You will have your minus here. So you will get what? By 2, 1, by 2, 7. 7 minus root of 35. If you separate them, you can also leave your answer uh, like this, guys, uh, for your information. Uh, what we're going to do is actually, we will go to KCC questions, how these guys have framed this question uh, during a national exam for your information. This is the main familiar, guys. So we are going to solve questions uh, that is actually one of the main familiar. Let's now go to and see KCC questions from this uh, chapter. Okay, let's see. KCC uh, questions, okay? Let's see that. Let's see how they frame during national exam this kind of mathematics concept, okay? Let's see that. I'll give you more examples so they understand better, okay? Uh, this is another question. Look at this one. We are told without using mathematical tables, okay? We are told without using mathematical table, without using mathematical tables, the term, without using mathematical tables, comma, simplify, simplify, root of 63 all over plus, sorry, this is plus, okay, plus root of 72, okay, all over root of 32 plus root of what, root of 28, okay, root of 28, this was the year, it was there in the year, what, 2005, okay, this is very easy, by the way, when you look at this one now, solution to this problem, we know that we have root of 63 plus root of 72 divided by root of what? 32 plus root of 28. Now ask yourself, 63 comes from here. 9 times 7, okay, into root. This is a compost number, you must expand it. Just understand. When you are expanding again, you are going to consider one thing. Get two numbers that one of them will have a square root. Get two numbers. Within that compost number, that one of them will have what? A square root. So, plus 72 comes from here. That is 6 times what? 2 in the root. Divided by, just understand that, take your time. That 2 again, this is 72. Yeah? 72 comes from that 6 times 2. And here we have that 2. That 2 comes from 16 times 2 into root. Okay? Just understand that. 28 comes from here. Plus, 28 comes from 4 times 7 
into what? Into root. Four will have square root. So we can write this one as what? We can say, what is the square root of 9? 3. 3 root of 7, because this one cannot go out of the square root. We don't have the square root of 7. Yeah? Plus, what is the square root of 6? 6 root of what? Root of 2. Divided by, come to this part. We have 4 root of 2, because the square root of 16 is what? Is 4. Take your time. Plus, okay, plus, plus, we love, uh, what is the square root of 4? 2, 2 root of 7. Then when you reach at this point, what are you waiting? Huh? You are going to rationalize the denominator. Okay? Look at that. It's very, very interesting, yeah? So it will be 3 root of 7. Let me write here. 3 uh, root of 7. 3 root of 7, okay? Plus 6 root of 2 divided by uh, 4 root of 2 plus 2 root of 7. Then what are you going to do? You will multiply here 4 root of 2 minus, we will change the sign here, 2, 2 root of uh, 7, okay? Now here also we will multiply by uh, the opposite of that, 4 root of 2 minus 2 root of 7, okay? Let's go. Here we are going to say 3 root 7 times 4 root 2. So 3 times 4 is what? 12. Root of what? Root of root 7 times root 2, root of 14. Okay? Again, minus 3 times 2, 6. Root 7 times root 7 is what? Root of 49. You are done with this one. Take your time. We are saying, when we want to multiply 3 root 7 by 4 root 2, these two numbers outside the square root sign, multiply them. 3 times 2 is what? 12. Root 7 times root 2 is what? Root of 14. Then go to this one again. We are multiplying 3 root 7 by 2 root 7. So 3 times 2 is what? 6. Root 7 times root 7 is what? Root of 49. We are done with this one, yeah? So let's go for this one. 6 root 2 times what? 4 root 2. So that will be, is it plus or minus? Plus. Because you are multiplying positive by positive. So that will be 24 root of uh, 4. Because 6 times 4 is 24. Root 2 times root 2 is what? Root 4. Minus 6 times 2. 12. Root 2 times root 7 is what? Root of uh, 14. Okay. Great. Great. We are done with the num. Okay, let's go to the denominator now. Here, we will say 4 root 2 times 4 root 2. That is 16 root of 4. Because 4 times 4 is 16. Root 2 times root 2 is what? Root of 4. Then again, minus 4 root 2 times 2 root 2. That's 8 root of uh, 14 because 4 times 2 is 8 root 7 times root 2 is what root of 14 we are done with this one go to for this one plus 2 root 2 times what 2 root 7 times 4 root 2 that is 8 root of uh, 14 8 root of 14 minus this one 4 root of 49 why 2 times 2 is 4 root 7 times root 7 is root of 49. Now, uh, let's go ahead and see this one. So what are we going to have? Here, we will have to all of root of 14, okay? Minus to all of root of 14. This one. Yeah, same. So we are collecting. Minus 6 times, what is the square root of 49? 7. Take your time. Plus 24 times 2, because two, root of 4 is 2, okay? Then, divided by, cancel these two. Look at these two. Must, they must cancel each other. That's the law for uh, rationalizing the denominator. They will cancel, and they will give you a piece of the brain. I just understand that. Then here, we will have 16 times 2, because the square root of 4 is 2, and 16, we read that there. We read that what? 16. So, minus... 4 times 7, okay? So, these two again cancel. They will go. That is, uh, that's what? Negative 42, negative 6 times 7, plus 48, divided 
divided by 32 minus 28. So this will give me what? Yeah, 6 divided by, subtract here, 4. So that will give us, finally, that will give us what? That will give us uh, 1.5, 1 1 okay? Or 1.5, 1.5, okay, 3 out of 2. And that is the final answer uh, for your, your for that question. Guys, take your time. It's very easy, by the way. Take your time, okay? I'll give you one more example, yeah? Let me give you, not one more example, I'll give you two, three more examples, because you can see uh, we have uh, uh, another concept that needs to be addressed here, okay? Let's go. I hope you're getting this thing. Check your time, go through this thing, I understand? These are composed numbers. So ask yourself, which two numbers will give me 63? That's 9 times 7, and remember 9 will have square root. Go like that and solve your application, okay? Look at this one. The same same in a structure you are told without using a calculator or a table evaluate okay but remember the one i'm going to try right now the one i want to write will have a concept of a form two and you must go through that concept of form two trigonometric it's there in our youtube channel okay you are told without using mathematical tables or calculator you are told evaluate or calculator look here or calculator Comma, you are told evaluate. We have sign uh sign what? Sign that here. Sign that degree minus sign sixty degree divided by tan tan sixty degree. You cannot have problem with this one because it is there in our YouTube channel where I've drawn the two triangles. One for the sine, cosine, tan, and tangent of what? Of angle 30 and 60, and the other one for the sine, cosine, and tangent of angle 45. Yeah, and make sure you must know how to break that triangle to get the value, the corresponding values for these uh, angles, okay? We know that, uh, from that, we know that we have two triangles. We have one triangle of this kind, which will help you, just understand, yeah? Go back to our YouTube channel, yeah? This is 60 degree, and this is that degree. Here we have two, here we have three, and here we have one. Okay? So we are dealing with sine uh, that and 60, yeah? We are dealing with that and 60. So we don't need that triangle. We we'll work on this one, okay? If I want to get sine that, study here, this under that. Sine means what? So. So. That means what? Opposite or hypotenuse. So the moment you are here, your opposite is this line. Let's say this A, B, and C. If you have problem with this one, go back to our YouTube channel and write highest trigonometric form two. It is there. Okay, so if I want to get sine that, I'll say sine is gotten as what? So, opposite or by hypotenuse, that's a half. Okay, let me write first the equation here. Let me write, we have sine 30 degree minus sine 60 degree divided by uh, tan, tan 60 degree, okay? Tan 60 degree. So, what are we going to say? Sine that is what? A half. It is here, opposite or by hypotenuse, that's a half, yeah? Just answer. So I'll say a half uh -huh, minus what is the what is sine sin sixty? Sine sixty what? So study here. Opposite of hypotenuse. That is uh root three out of what? Out of two. Just understand that. Root three out of two. Then divided by tan sixty. Tan is got as what? Tan is uh, Opposite or what? Adjacent. So the moment you're here, this is your opposite and this is the adjacent. Obviously, that is root 3. So can you now rationalize this one? We have, coming to this point, you have a half minus root 3 out of 2 divided by root of what? Root of 3. Let's understand that. So what are you going to, uh, to do? We multiply here by, or let's close the bracket here. Then multiply by root of what? Root of 3. Here also, root of uh, three. Just understand that. Because when we are rationalizing, we are multiplying both sides by the denominator. Just forget. Don't forget that, yeah? Just don't forget that. So this will be a half. Just understand that. A half. Okay? Uh, root of what? Root of three. Just understand that, yeah? A half root of uh, uh, three for your information, guys. And minus, minus root nine out of two. 
root 3 times 3 is root 9. Divided by root of 1, root of 9. Okay? Coming to this point, we'll have a, a half root of 1, root of 3, okay? Minus 3 out of 2. Just answer that. Minus 3 out of 2 divided by 3. Divided by uh, 3. You can leave your answer like this. You can say 3 out of 2. You can leave your answer like this. This is the final answer. Okay? Or what you can do is you can multiply both sides by the denominator. Or leave your answer like this. The examiner will not penalize for you that. Okay? Uh, if you have more questions, make sure you leave your comment in our comment box. Please, uh, friends, okay? Make sure you subscribe our YouTube channel. It is an academic channel, by the way. It's not one which is based on comic issues. And it's a channel that I, that's actually helping students who are rich or stranded at home level, okay? Due to the spread of this pandemic, this is called COVID-19. Otherwise, I wish you the best.